It's so hard to adjust the fact there's no rug underneath me. Um, so. Last night was special. How special you might ask? Well, I dare say we've had the greatest mass Singer season finale in history. In fact, that's literally what Nick Cannon and the panelists believed as well. So, since I respect Nick Cannon and the panelists, what they say goes. So, yeah, that was the greatest finale we've ever had. It actually wound up being better than the previous three seasons. Somehow, some way, it wound up being better. Because... Well, you know what? I'll talk about that in a second. I have a low nine other guys to do. Um, so my low is, it's been hot. Like, only today are we finally getting air conditioning in this apartment building. But like, every night, I'm just like dying of heat. Like, I open up a window. I sleep with like, like, I don't even sleep under my covers anymore. I just have, like, a thin, like, crocheted blanket to sleep under. Just so, like, I mean, yeah, you keep yourself covered at night when you sleep. But at the same time, like, I mean, it's crocheted, so there's a whole bunch of, like, holes in it. By design, of course. So, I stay. Actually, this was a better night's sleep, not gonna lie. Um... My high was the Mass Singer finale. That, pure and simple. And I add the kindness, where do I begin? Well, I, let's see, what did I do? Uh, brought in the garbage under the dehumidifier, um, did the laundry. Um, yeah, man, I did just about everything, which was completely insane. Um, so, uh, that was it, man, that was, that was the season finale. We had the season finale last night, it was really cool. Um, okay, fine, I'll, I'll discuss what was great about it. I mean, I've been saying at least twice now where... For, since the finale wound up being the way it was, basically both perform, both performers have uh, two songs to do. Your job should be to pick the two best songs that nobody can sing better than you. And you need to pick what song goes first so you can guarantee that the slightly better song you can sing is your best song. And they did it. Both the gumball and goldfish did exactly what I um I predicted they should do. In terms of again picking the best songs for them. In fact, I will be honest, I know I I was hard on gumball this whole season, I will admit. But if there's one thing I can say about Gumball, it's that Gumball is a survivor. In fact, hands down, last night these were the two performances that made me think, okay, Gumball deserves to be here. If I was wearing a hat right now, I'd be tipping my hat off to uh, the person who was Gumball, which I'll be getting into momentarily. So, um, Gumball went first with the Latch by Disclosure, featuring Sam Smith. Very good song. Heard that on radio. Actually, kind of think of it, every single one of these songs, I have heard multiple times on the radio, with the exception of the last song. We'll get to that in a second. So, Gumball went first, doing a Lash by Disclosure featuring Sam Smith. And Goldfish did Heart of Glass by Blondie. And after Goldfish saying, like, okay, now I remember why Goldfish is here. And then came Gumball's second performance. 
And this was the song that made me think, okay, maybe Gumball actually has a shot at winning this whole thing. Because... Here's the thing, I wouldn't say this is one of my favorite songs of all time, but I absolutely love this song, and I can't help but smile every time I hear it on the radio or wherever I am. He did Renegade by Styx. Which... I mean, again, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite songs, but every time I hear it, I like, I'm moving to the beat, you know, I, I, I just can't but smile every time I hear that song. And then Goldfish did Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me by Elton John, which, I mean, look, it's Sir Elton John. You're not going to find much better for a finale than this. I mean, that might have been the best final performance of the season I've heard, probably since Medusa did Walk Into the Black Parade by My Chemical Romance. Because, yeah, I said this was Goldfishes to lose, and that was that wound up being true. Goldfish wound up being the winner. But I couldn't help but feel bad for the gumball after everything. Because he deserved to make it there. Here's what's interesting though before I get into who it was. Before the winner was announced, there was actually one final clue. And that was both the identities of the gumball and the goldfish, both the people underneath those masks, have actually co-starred before. Which, all season the panelists have been saying it was Derek and Julianne Huff, which, as soon as, here's the thing, like, they were saying it was Derek and Julianne Huff before, but, um, but when that clue came out saying that they had co-starred before, I'm like, holy cow, we actually have a brother-sister finale. Shoot, now I actually do kind of want the gumball to win, because you want the brother, you want, you want your fellow brother to do well, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> Oh, oh, but now, Goldfish won, and Gumball lost. What's even funnier is, several of the panelists were just in awe of how close they were to saying the identity of the Gumball, that they were mad that, like, they literally had their gut feeling it was this person, but at the last second they decided not to. So when it turned out that the gumball was Scott Porter, I'm like, okay, because I I don't watch I don't watch Friday Night Lights. I mean, I saw that terrible movie a few years ago, but okay, I know it's not terrible, but I hate the ending, so therefore it's terrible. Seriously, man, all that hype when they lose the state championship? What the hell, man? Like, I don't want that. I want to see that. I don't want to see a bad ending like that. Are you kidding me? Anyway. Um, so, it turned out to be Scott Porter was the gumball. So, then there was the goldfish. Now, I'm thinking, okay, since I don't know who Scott Porter is, there's no way I can possibly guess who is underneath the goldfish mask. I mean... When they showed that Scott Porter was from Friday Night Lights, I'm like, okay, maybe it's one of his female co-stars from that show. I don't know. But, uh, no. Both, uh, Jen McCarthy Wahlberg and Rita Ora, Rita Ora were convinced it was this person. And it was. It wasn't just any person now. Oh, no. Folks, when we grow up, we all have celebrity crushes. But we can be divided in like the two areas. Like, there's the celebrity crushes you have growing up where they're clearly adults that you absolutely have no chance with. And then when you get older and you realize that, you know, 
people your own age can be famous and hot. Like that's like that. That's like the second era, right? Now, for me, I just give you an example. Like growing up, I had celebrity crushes on the likes of Valerie Bertinelli, Rita Ma Reba McIntyre, Ellen DeGeneres, just to name a few. When I got to high school, though, a little movie that was released on Disney Channel called High School Musical aired on Disney Channel. And there was one actress from that movie that I thought was just the most beautiful person I'd ever seen in my life at the time, and I don't know she still is. That woman's name is Vanessa Hudgens. Ladies and gentlemen, Vanessa Hudgens is your season 11 mass singer winner. Which she legitimately proved, like, even after, gosh, it's been almost 20 years since High School Musical, and Vanessa Hudgens still got it. She's totally got it. I mean, what can I say, man? It's Vanessa Hudgens. Like, seriously. There were like several girls in my high school who were like, seriously, if you can buy them all, you get Vanessa Hudgens. That was like how hot Vanessa Hudgens was. I am not kidding. Like, seriously. Well, I say girls, they're all cheerleaders. They're all cheerleaders too, that's insane. But anyway, um, my God. Like, and what was funny too is, um, Rita was talking about, um, because Rita was the first to guess Vanessa Hudgens. And Vanessa's like, I know I want to take off my mask so bad. Because Rita's like, yeah, I know. You, know, you always text me, like, what did be on? Like, now you know why. Yeah, so, man. So you're probably wondering, before I continue, like, how do Scott Porter, who was the gumball, and Vanessa Hudgens, who was the goldfish, know each other? What they co-star in? They go start in a movie called Band Slam. Actually, let me look up Band Slam real fast. Hold on. Okay. Hmm, Bandslam is 82% of my tomatoes. How long ago did this movie air? Oh, 2009. Okay, I must have been like out and stuff. So, uh. Yeah. Okay. So, what happened is, um. Brightwood. Okay. Back to my, uh, back to my notes. What was funny regarding the fact that uh, both Scott Porter and Vanessa Hudgens were in Band Slam is, and Scott Porter said this himself, she beat my character in the movie. And now art imitated real life. Which, I mean, yeah. This finale was just awesome. This, I mean, in terms of finale's past, I mean, the ones that stick out to me personally are, I mean, season four when Leanne Rhymes just destroyed everybody as the sun. There's season eight when the harp defeated literally Wilson Phillips to get to to get to become the mass senior winner of season eight. Medusa fighting back from elimination to wind up winning it all. Shot to Bishop Briggs. 
What you had here was a battle between a straight survivor and a th and actually, what would you call? Because Vanessa Hudgens, seriously, goldfish killed from literally the first note. Like, this is at least the fourth time since I've watched this show where the first contestant, you know, performed, and you're like, okay, that performer's gonna win it all. So, a survivor versus the sure thing. And, you know what, shout out to, you know, all the credit in the world to Scott Porter. That guy literally did all he could to make to get this already he did. And that's to be commended. As for, um, Vanessa Hudgens, okay, full disclosure, before this video started, I wanted to see if Vanessa Hudgens was single, and, uh, no. No, uh, no, she's not. Apparently, she's married to, like, some baseball player who, okay, Vanessa Hudgens is, like, my age, and this baseball player is, like, 27 years old, I'm like, damn, bro, okay. You're clearly doing life better than I am. Okay. So, um, yeah, this was awesome. This was exactly what I needed to get ready for going back to the lake in a couple of days. Speaking of which, I should probably get going because there's some things I need to get. And uh, I'll be busy for the next several days. <laughs> but by Friday evening, it will all be worth it. I hope you all like this video. If you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on social media. It's always on your home news video. For all of you guys watching, Joe Bernie, we'll be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Thursday. Oh, happy Thursday, everyone. And remember, if you guys want to talk channel, we're going to be good to win. I'll be back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.